All right. So, my friend once not told me that to unlock the final waypoint in uh, Fontaine, that there's someone to talk to at this area, and there's supposed to be some sort of broken wall or something. So let's get started with this guy over here and see what he has to say. Hey, boss need a navigator? I'm your man. You're the navigator here? I am, or was, rather, the best navigator in Lumidos Harbor. I know these waters like the back of my hand. I can help you bring in even a tiny raft into the harbor without capsizing. You used to be. Um, ahem. I'd say the future of those working in Lumidos Harbor isn't very bright. It's practically a black hole for career progression, and the pay is lousy. It's better to strike out on your own. Boss, if you hire me, I, I could help you make connections. I know... Wait a minute, you're... Oh my goodness, it's an honor to see you. I've heard Mr. Chevrolet talk about you. You're truly exceptional. If you decide to hire me for the job, I'll give you a, let's say, 20% discount. Why don't you think it over? If you ever decide to hire me, you know where to find me. Okay. I don't really have a boat big enough for that, but okay. <laughs> Let's talk to this dude. I have no plans for you, my child. You're free to pursue what you like. Tell me a bit about yourself. Me? I'm just a nobody. Don't worry about me. Come have a drink. Regardless of what brought you here, surely it's worth having a drink to celebrate our meeting on this ship. To celebrate being able to see the sky and the sea every day. You can see it? To truly see, to see truly wonderful things, you must look with your mind, not your eyes. Drink, talk, my child. Or drink, talk, my child. Believe me, try looking from this angle and you might see things differently. Let's see if I talk to him about Penny. Ah, young Penny. She must trust you quite a bit if she's willing to introduce you to her animal friends. What are they called again? Don Quajono? I can't say that. Yep, that's a name that reeks of rogue. Like a swordsman's. That tiger-striped cat is really something. Ah, when those enemies chase us all the way to Pason. Jumping out like some kind of great hero, scratching their faces with ribbons. Ha ha ha! Such a brave, loyal cat. Proceed according to the plan. The instructions were clear, and the message you received should be the same as mine. What were the orders you received? Let's double check. I don't want trouble. We'll each follow the, the instructions, do the job, and then leave with the Mora. Is your superior out at sea or landside? What did I just say? No chit-chat. I don't want to end up sleeping with the fishes. Please, for all I know, your orders might be to slap some cement shoes on me and toss me into the harbor. If you stop asking questions, you won't have anything to worry about. No, it's definitely not these two. Hello! Thank you for helping Orval and I take a photo earlier. Every time I see that picture, it reminds me of you. How have you been? Well, there's been good and bad. Orval found a job at Lumidos Harbor. It's tough work, but he says that's a good thing. He's been eating more lately, so he should be stronger than before. If he gets stronger, he should be able to join the fleet without any issues. That's always been a dream of his, and I hope it comes true for him. Erval sighed. How are you doing? Thank you. I can't say I've skewed too far or skewed too far in the direction of good or bad lately. I'm just the same as before. And you? How have you been? Okay, I guess. Well, that's good to hear. If you ever need help, I'm willing to assist, and I'm sure Irvile would be too, even though I'm not sure how much help we'd be. Okay, so that's the lady from the one world quest that we did. I can drink more. Boss, I mean, Captain, Chief Mate, Second Mate, where's the booze? Are you alright? Who are you? Bornoval is no good. I want Verdren. Where? I got it. You're Arger. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on, give me a sip. You just stay away from me. Stop acting so weird. Huh? Who are you? 
Not drinking with me? Fine by me. I'll drink alone. <laughs> Why isn't my wine here yet? Because you've had too much. Let's see what the happens if I say the other thing. What are you doing? Can't you see I'm drinking? I'd rather you not join, at least not for now. And yet the other option, he's trying to drag us in. That's hilarious. Welcome to the Rusty Runner. Choose anything you want. About mysterious xenochromatic crystals. Oh, you can't just find this just anywhere. I'm pretty sh interested in collecting strange and interesting things. So if you're willing to hand it over to me, I'll make sure to compensate you. Sure looks like a good specimen. If you manage to come across any of these things again in the future, do me a favor and bring them to me. I'll compensate you like I did just now. What do you give me? 20,000 mora. Well, that's not what I want. Anyways, you're a shop. I didn't realize that. Or maybe I did and just forgot. I don't know. Mm, meh. I can buy those other places. Does he have any other chat options? This place is... As you can see, this is a bit of a dingy tavern. Or dingy tavern. I'm the helmsman here, but you can call me boss. Whatever you want. You just tell me what you want to drink. I'll do my best to either make it myself or find it for you. Of course, if you really want me to help find some new goods which aren't on the shelves, then you'll have to pay a little more. I need to pay extra more? Mora? Huh. If you're only paying in more, then I can only sell you what's on the shelves. At most, you could have some good wine. For things that aren't on the shelves, you need to trade something that's not in your wallet. W what do you mean? Heh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Just choose what you want to drink. Let's see, is there any other... Why are you wearing a dive suit? I've called this here tavern the Rusty Rudder, and as the helmsman, I naturally have to dress accordingly. What's more, it makes it easier for me to dive into the water and fish out any drinks guests who drunk guests who fall in. That seems more realistic. Uh, if they insist on drowning, then let them at least drown in booze. Otherwise, I'd be, it'd be bad for my tavern's reputation. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I was forced to do this in order to make a living. My hands were tied. What are you talking about? You scared me. I thought it was another predator coming for me. I'm thinking of starting a new business. If this deal goes through, I'll be sitting atop a gold mine. I'll have enough more to leave the court of Fontaine and start anew. But that cowardly Debel. Ha! He deserves to be poor. He couldn't hold on to mortar even if he handed it to him on a silver platter. Leave, but what about your creditors? They really took me for a ride with this loan. When I borrowed that sum, I had no idea they'd come up with so many terms and charge me interest like that was sky high. If I were only expected to pay the principal, I wouldn't exactly be overjoyed, but I could accept it. But now they're telling me that the interest alone has grown to three times the principal. If they think I'm going to pay that, they're delusional. I was hoodwinked. This was never my de debt to begin with. Then why did you borrow the more in the first place? I was in dire need of more for my business at the time, but no one was willing to lend me a, a cent. I had no choice but to approach that bunch of crooks for a small loan. It doesn't matter now anyway. Once I get my hands on that thing and send it out, all of this will be settled. <laughs> the Rusty Rudder Second Mate one moment, please. Would you like to hear a secret about the treasure? What secret? It has to do with the treasure and the key to opening the gate. How does that sound? Interesting? You're not asking me to fight monsters again, are you? You're not asking me to find someone or something for you again, are you? Of course not. We wouldn't dream of asking tavern guests to run errands. See this naval artillery by my side and the rubble it's pointed at? Activate the cannon and blow up these those rocks, and any treasure you can cover is yours for the taking. Who on Tavat named that cannon? The helmsman did. I'm not entirely sure myself where he acquired it. Out with it. What parts are missing? I think you've been misinformed, friend. The cannon is entirely intact and fully powered. I tend to it every day. But before you activate the cannon... I'd like you to answer several questions. It's per the request from the helmsman. 
He called it a good source of amusement for guests at the tavern. Something to slow down their drinking and keep them here longer. I'm not sure about this, but ask away. Question 1. How many tables are in the Rusty Rudder? Question 2. How many employees do we have at the Rusty Rudder? Question 3. What is not served in the Rusty Rudder? That's it. You only need to answer these three questions correctly to activate the cannon. Blow up the rubble and get the treasure. What will happen after I get the treasure? After that, I'll find the right time to place another suitable prize in the cave and seal it with rubble. The treasure is waiting to be claimed once the guests activate the artillery. That's a lot of work for you. That's all. You may look for the answers now. Meanwhile, I'll stay here and wait for you. Okay, how many tables, how many employees, and how many drinks? Okay. One. Wow, okay. Is there really only three employees? Messenger. That's two. Three? Question mark? How's that table even staying up? Three tables, three employees. And how many drinks? One drink. Actually, let's see how many everything is sold. One, two, three, four, five all together with one being a drink. First, how many tables are there in the Rusty Rudder? How many employees do we have at the Rusty Rudder? What is not served in the Rusty Rudder? Are you ready to answer this? We're ready. Then let's begin. First question. How many tables are in the Rusty Rudder? Three. Correct. One step closer to activating the cannon. Question two. How many employees do we have at the Rusty Rudder? Three. Correct. One step closer to activating the cannon. Question three. What is not served at the Rusty Rudder? Romare Time Flower. All correct. Congratulations. You may activate the cannon. Hold on a sec. Let me cover my ears first. I didn't even have to change the angle or anything. And there's the waypoint one snot was talking about. Along with a chest and a cave. Guess this'll go into my magic pocket. And now I got all the waypoints in Fontaine. That's a really far drop. Have I been here before? No, I have not. Let's grab that. While I'm here, I should grab this treasure chest. I will have order. Solidify. Guess this will go into my magic. Oops, nope, that's not what I want. I want this. Just one more thing to be done. I'm not going to do the silly thing yet. Let's see what happens if I. No. There we go. Uh, yep, nope, not doing that yet. Oh, it looks like I might have to. Oh boy. I didn't want to do the sealy thing because I didn't want to get the thing done. Hip. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and do it and just mark it on my map. <sighs> Alright. Okay. 
That one's done. You're already waiting by it. Okay. up here there he is keep your eyes wide open it would help if i actually switched that party member or that thinks group see a thing to push it with. to this thing to get up faster. Okay, and then while that's doing its thing, I'm going to switch parties. Another treasure chest. I wonder if this chest is some kind of trick. Alrighty, so let's first learn that uh, blueprint there. Cause why not? And then grab that. Alright, so that's going to be the end of that. And I have the last wave point now unlocked in Fontaine. So that's going to be it for now, and I'll see you guys later.